Hey everyone, I'm ArmorUnit01, and uh, I'm terribly sorry that I missed yesterday. Uh, no real excuses there, I just uh, was talking with my buddy about uh, our project that we were going to do. And uh, we started hanging out a little bit, and all of a sudden I decided to watch How to Train Your Dragon, and uh, that was just... Yeah, I didn't have any time to do a game, so... Um, sorry about that. So, let's go ahead and pop into a game, and uh, get some Yu-Gi-Oh! dueling action. So on the bottom we have the JW Kid, and we have our Zio on top, and he's, our uh, top player is playing uh, Necro, um, not Necro, um, uh, Grave Keepers, and our bottom player is playing uh, Fire King. Yep, looks like a Fire King. And both players with 8,000 life points, and um, still the first round. So we have Fabric King Avatar, the Barong, going to be someone on the field, and ends his turn. So uh, we have a seal right now going over on the graveyard, and uh, I'm not too far, um, too aware of Fire King's the are graveyard bound, uh, but let's go ahead and read this uh, Barong. Uh, if the face of Fire King monster, oh, looks like we have Ambusher going to be someone on the field, and uh, Gravekeeper's Descent is going to go send Spy to go ahead and destroy Swords of Revealing Light. So that's going to open up uh, Battle Lane for uh, Zeo. Gravekeeper Descent also activates its effect. Going to go ahead and send the other Descent to go ahead and target one of the face down cards. And we have a um, Circle of the Fire King going to be a go ahead and activate the target. One Fire Beast Monster you control and one Fire Monster in your graveyard. Destroy that target and you control. And if you do special summon the other monster from the graveyard, you know, they activate one Circle of Fire per turn. And that's not going to succeed because uh, Necro Valley is in play right now, so you can't move cards from your graveyard uh, from other card effects. And Gravekeeper Steel is going to be activated, so two cards from uh, the graveyard can be added to the hand. And we have Assailant and Descendant going to be added. Uh, that's not going to be negated by Necro Valley. And attack going on right now, so Ambush is going to attack and uh, Descendant is going to attack, so that's going to be a total of 48,200. Looks like. Oh no, uh, there was a tactic uh, with uh, Octopus, so that was. 200, 400, so 2400 damage. And uh, the light fight ends with uh, Kid with 56 and Rizio with 8000. And uh, looks like it's in favor of uh, Great Poopy right now. Going to activate, uh, descend it again to go ahead and activate the effect to go ahead and send Garurex to the graveyard. And that's going to go ahead and special summon uh, the bigger one. Oh no! Okay. Uh, okay, Kid chooses um, Kirin, and Kirin, go ahead and special summon, uh, or send a monster to the graveyard, and Grave uh, Cooper Ambush is going to attack directly for 2200. And uh, Evazhar Grunex, the bigger one of uh, what I was uh, thinking of, is going to be sent to the, those sent to the graveyard. And uh, Karen, let's see, face of fire comes destroyed by a card effect, except during the damage that you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is destroyed and to the graveyard, you can send one fire monster from your deck to the graveyard. So, uh, it's destroyed by battle, and, and uh, the effect is turned off. We have Grave Keepers Recruit. This is an excellent card for Grave Keepers. Um, it's going to go ahead and actually send its effect. It's going to sacrifice Recruiter, and Recruiter's effect is going to trigger off uh, from being sent to the graveyard. Um, careful about this, this card does can, can miss time. And uh, Commandment is going to be added to the hand. And uh, this is going to be attack for the game. And so our winner right now, our winner is on top with Grave Keepers. Um, key cards right here would obviously be Necro Valley. Necro Valley definitely just goes ahead and shuts down meta decks, uh, or curtain meta decks using the graveyard as a key component to go ahead and special summon a lot of their cards up there. So, um, and also, um, a lot of plus one going on with this deal. Go ahead and retrieve back those Gravekeeper monsters and sacrifice them for Descendant effect. And so, um, Descendant also another uh, good card to have uh, being comboed off with all the Gravekeepers. So, uh, interesting here, no, no extra deck for um, 
free creatures. You don't really need an extra deck, but um, it's always a good option to have it at least. Just in case, you, if such a situation would be like, oh, if I only had like an Exiton Knight at the moment or something like that, you could have done it with uh, your uh, Gravekeeper Spy and summon uh, another Gravekeeper Spy or um, uh, Descendant or any other grave, level 4 Gravekeeper. So um, it's always good to come prepared. But uh, hey, this deck is definitely, um, Gravekeeper is definitely a strong deck. It's definitely a strong contender. So yeah, our winner, top, with uh, 8,000 life points and CEO. And as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget your face down trap cards.